Good morning, afternoon, I don't even know what time, I think it's like 12.30 right now. Um, but I am scheduled to drop off this wool over in Blythe at, well, whenever I get there basically. But yeah, we had to pull out the big trailer for this because uh, I think this is the biggest load of wool I've ever collected in one go to get washed. I'm still sitting on a couple bags that are already washed, so between that and all this probably next week, I will be able to take this all to Mariposa and start working on our fall winter wool collection. I think I decided this year we're just gonna aim for one big launch and then hopefully there'll be enough stuff that I won't sell out and then people won't be so disappointed and mad at me. So yeah, and I have like a good chunk of the year to, to prepare and plan and give the ladies lots of time to, uh, to do their thing because last summer was just really hard on them getting all these orders done so yeah we're gonna be a little ahead of the curve hopefully this year yeah we're gonna share your house today ladies Actually a little ahead of schedule this week. I want to get these guys weighed up because uh, these are the tail enders so they're gonna get shipped this week um, but the reason why I want to do it today and just get them moved over to this side is because I'm hoping tomorrow I can clean this pen out. So Mark and I cleaned that pad across the road on Saturday morning uh, so it is cleaned off that means I can clean out this half and then hopefully that means sorry the Sun is in and out then hopefully that means Thursday I can wean those lambs put them all on this side for now um, get the ewe lambs moved across the road into where they were some of it and then hopefully clean that pen out next week and then divide the divide those lambs kind of in half 50% on this side 50% on that side that's the plan and I might even if I have time today just start tearing this pen apart so it's right ready to start cleaning out first thing in the morning yeah these are all the tail enders, so they're all gonna get scanned and weighed. And I'm gonna put them in the drop pen here, and they're just gonna stay here until Wednesday until I get uh, get them loaded up and taking them to the sales barn. Um, someone actually, I got a few comments this week, this past week. Um, my videos I've always showed, you know, weighing the lambs because it's part of my weekly, sort of part of my weekly routine and then loading them on the trailer. So someone said they would rather me not show that part. Um, unfortunately, that what I do on my channel is show what I do, and I'm very aware that this part is very sensitive to a lot of viewers. It sucks because I've taken you through the journey of these lambs since they were babies. Um, but what I really, what I'm trying to do is not traumatize you all. That's like the last thing I want to do. What I'm trying to do is show you um just like everything we do here and we are trying to feed people at the end of the day now there's so many options when it comes to food now so the last thing i want to do is tell people like eat lamb eat beef eat whatever um because we have lots of choices we can have a plant-based diet we can have we can have 
can have basically whatever we want now. We can eat crickets if we want. But at the end of the day, this is, this is our business. It is business. Uh, do I fall in love with them and have to ship them? Yeah, it's horrible. I, there are days that I absolutely hate it when I've named a lamb. I show you what we do, but I hope to do it in a very, a very sensitive way. So that's why I basically just show you me loading up the trailer and, and taking the lambs. But if that's something that bothers you, I just, I encourage you. You know when I'm starting to set up, you know what's going to probably happen. Just skip on ahead or just finish out the video. Um, and I apologize if that makes you queasy. I guess at the end of the day, if I leave that stuff out, I'm doing our whole industry, I'm doing everybody a disservice because it's like, what happened to so-and-so? What happened to so-and-so? Like, I've, I haven't finished the story. Anyway, I hope that speaks to the problems that some people have. I'm gonna leave a couple back. They're pretty small. Uh, one is like 65 pounds, the other's 49 pounds. So they're gonna actually stay back. I'm gonna put them with the wean lambs. I found the last time I left, I also had two really small ones. And what ended up happening is, it's nice to have a couple that can train the other ones on the water bowls. So there's those two little ones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them back and put them with my, uh, they're small enough, they're not gonna be bullies, because I know I'm gonna have lambs over there that are bigger than these ones. So I'm gonna leave them in here, and then hopefully they can play around with those water bowls and get a few more on it, and then the more that get on the water bowls, the more, the quicker the rest get on it. So um, just a little hack that I learned. Uh, are those lambs gonna make me money? No, they're not. But now they're gonna train the other ones and hopefully get on, lambs on water quicker. So I'm, I'm feeling like they're kinda, they earn their keep a little more that way. All right, that job is done. I forgot to uh, go through the stats with you guys. It's kind of important, the tail enders is the ones that I wanted to kind of go through. We had 13 to send. The minimum weight was 83 and a half and the max was 110 for an average weight of 95.85. That's pretty good, but of course, if I had those two smaller ones, that would be a little bit different, not a whole lot different. I think what I need to do to get prepared for tomorrow, instead of tearing this stuff down and putting it where I always do, I actually have to clean out this corner because I need that gate open to get full access to that side for tomorrow. So I might work away at that for the rest of the afternoon. What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's almost four o'clock. <laughs> morning. I have to, I forgot I had to take down these fans before uh, I could clean out this pen because I can't get under it.
we're making out pretty good. I am on just, this is where that, uh, that tap, that second tap right there, right there, it blew on Boxing Day. So this is the, this is the end that was complete, basically underwater. This is really like, it's dry. Uh, and then the moisture just wicks down. So it's definitely moist on the bottom, that bottom layer. But we are able to keep that top nice and dry. It still stinks, however. Yeah, we're almost done here, yay. Well, sort of done. We still have all the scraping. This barn, for being wider than the pens in the other barn, I find it hard to get to, get to the sides. make this corner and get this no matter how many times I've tried so you gotta use the old brute beast mode Mark's actually going today to the uh, hospital to get his wrist checked to make sure he doesn't need surgery so I was hoping to have this done so I could go with him but I don't know All finished it's pretty much completely dry right now but I'm gonna let it just sit overnight and I'm gonna finish getting it all bedded and move the feeders in tomorrow morning I'm gonna I finished in time so I think I might hit the road with Mark uh, just in case anything happens any they do something to his wrist and he doesn't feel like driving and he has a migraine so I'm like you know what I'll just go with him and drive him if he lets me <laughs> he probably won't because he's stubborn um, and this can wait till tomorrow, but this is a big relief. Good morning everyone, we are cleaned up, we've set up, almost, I have to put on my spouts. This one I can put together because it's pretty much empty, the other one is way too full. So we're going to have to wait for some lambs to eat some of the grain that's in that one before I can kind of maneuver it because sometimes you just need to shimmy and shimmy and wiggle a little bit to find its sweet spot to match the auger holes to the, the sorry, the drop spout to the holes. So, uh, I'm gonna attempt to do this. I think I snapped off the top last time, but I taped this one. Or did I tape the back? 
we could tape it, so it's okay. I'm gonna show you this lamb. She's got the, he or she has the tiniest little ears and I remember when it was born and I was like, what's wrong with this lamb? But, <laughs> cause I remember I could barely get the tag on it. Okay, I don't wanna scare it. All right, I'm gonna attempt to do something. I don't know if it's gonna be a mistake. And this is the days that I really miss Carissa when she works in the afternoons. I think I can probably do it. I might just strategically put some gates and just get them all kind of squished to the front and then just put the trailer right up to the door and load them, I think. I think that's what we're gonna do. Cause I have the pen already over there. I'd like to kind of get them over today, get them settled in and comfortable and maybe find the water bowls or um, get a bit curious anyway. And they're kind of in the way. Bottle babies are really, really hard to load on, on wean day just because they're slow. They're not scared of us because they're used to us feeding them and stuff. So it would be nice just to get them done today. What do you think guys? Are you going to cooperate? <laughs> Guys, it's your turn. 
Go assist them. Please hold. Hey, sweetie. Maybe not you. Maybe not you. You'll be fine. So the problem with how we set up for unloading, it's completely backwards with how we load. So. I'm gonna flip this around because uh, later this afternoon I'm gonna I'm gonna load up the rest of the market lambs and head out with them. So. Just got back from the uh, auction barn and I thought I'm gonna keep getting ready for tomorrow morning because tomorrow Chris is up at four doing chores at the other place this week. So she's gonna be exhausted by the time she gets here. Um, so the more I can kind of get organized tonight to prepare for weaning, I think the better moods everyone will be in tomorrow. <laughs> weaning day is not good on, both, out on either Chris and I. It is just, it's very stressful, very loud. If you guys remember cinnamon this is baby number one and baby number two they're huge they're bigger than you such a good mom look at that look at that wow 
Wow. Yeah. You did good. How are you going to do tomorrow? <laughs> you guys will be just fine. <laughs>